Okay, so I've been messing around with kind of a new idea uh, that works well with these round molds. And I'm going to show you guys what it is. And hopefully it all works out. you got to put talc on everything here so it doesn't stick together. So we put the mold frame down on the mold holder. And we take... We're going to use four pieces. We've got a three-quarter inch uh, mold frame. We want it to stand up above uh, one one piece of mold rubber. So we're going to talc one side. We're going to put that down just like that. Kind of place it in the middle. And then what we do is we have our pieces here. And you want to kind of try and figure out where center is, which I'm just going to guess it's about there. And so we'll take our pieces and we'll just kind of lay them out. I've got a variety here. So where you want the sprue to go is going to face the center. So with this mold rubber, which is really hard, uh, it's, it's best to use pieces that are kind of flat like these are. Otherwise, if, if you're using pieces that are more three-dimensional, uh, you're going to want to use a softer mold rubber. Then what you do... This will take a couple videos. For you to see everything, but so we're about like that. So what I'm gonna do is I got a piece of wood here. I'm gonna push these down about halfway or so in. I've made two molds so far and they've worked. Uh, so I'm I'm hopeful that this one will work too. By pushing these in, uh, it keeps them from shifting when it starts to vulcanize. Okay, once we got these in, we powder this. We don't want the two halves sticking together. Then we're going to take one more piece here. We're going to powder it. We're going to set it down. We're going to push it down really well. Thumb works good. We're going to take another piece, set it on top of there, and we're going to powder it. And then, right where about center is, we're going to take our cone here for the injection point. We're going to put it right in the middle. Then we'll take powder the top of this, set it down. So this whole time I have my toaster oven on and I've got it set at 350 degrees and warming up. So by the time it takes to make this, the toaster oven is then ready and then this will go in the toaster oven for 50 minutes, 5-0. And then we'll see what we got. Just want to hand tighten it down. 
try and get it even on the three corners there or the three posts and that's it all right thanks